Hi, my name is April Martin and I am doing my social media marketing presentation on branding my daughter at Lily the Writer. Lily Martin is an eight-year-old equestrian with a passion for horses, riding, and competing. She offers a learning service through her social media outlets with the handle at Lily the Writer. Lily's journey is documented as a youth equestrian. Posts that are made are honest and true to life. Both her successes and failures are highlighted to show transparency in the hopes to encourage other youth equestrians to never give up on their riding goals. Lily has always had a passion for animals, especially horses. She began English writing at the age of six in November 2017. Her beginning lessons were on 14 plus hand horses where she learned how to walk and trot. During the summer of 2018, Lily transitioned to spunky project ponies that increased her riding skills to include trap poles, cross rails, and canter. She has placed in both schooling and NCHJA Class C ranked shows. NCHJ, side note, stands for North Carolina Hunter Jumpers Association. So she competes in shows for 12 and under and open flat classes. She is currently competing and a member of the Serenity Stables show team, and she competes in the Wakama Equestrian Series. 2019 has been a very eventful year for At Lily the Rider. After sustaining a concussion from a fall off of a galloping pony, she began schooling on several different horses in efforts to find the right fit for upcoming horse shows. Since November 2017, Lily has had the opportunity to train on a total of 12 different horses. The different breeds include Ponies of America, or POAs, Halflingers, Paints, Appaloosas, a Mini Horse, and Welsh, Welsh Horses. Lily is gifted with having a natural ability to ride. In the one and a half years that she has been riding, Lily has been able to master the following skills. Walk, trot, canter, sitting trot, sitting canter, trap poles, 18, 18 inch cross rails, which are jumps, and hand gallop. Lily's current goals include mastering vertical jumps, which are just higher jumps, not cross rails, and an extended trot and beginning to train in Western gaming. When Lily is not training at the farm, she is living her best life as an eight-year-old, playing outside with friends or going to the beach. So there are lots of benefits to riding horses. 
People may or may not know that there are a number of benefits to horseback riding. Some physical benefits include exercise, core strengthening, balance, and increased muscle strength. There are also many psychological benefits to riding horses as well. Whether just being around horses or actually working with them, the body uses more METs or metabolic equivalent, which increases oxygen intake. The increased oxygen intake combined with endorphins that are released when exercising with a horse helps to relieve stress and stimulates feelings of happiness and joy. Riding also improves concentration levels. Riding horses increases concentration levels due to the fact that while on a multi tine animal, if you are not paying attention, the chance of serious injury increases. For competitive riders, all classes, regardless of whether it's a flat class or a jumping class, concentration is improved because the rider must follow a specific set of instructions while maintaining proper form in the saddle. Horseback riding also improves quick thinking skills. Horses obviously are large animals with minds and emotions of their own. Sometimes while on a horse, something unexpected may happen to spook the horse or they may just be having a bad day, similar to how humans have good days and bad days. Quick thinking is a must while riding so that if a horse is spooked or feeling spunky to stay safe, the rider must be prepared to know what to do to manage any type of situation. Horses are also often used in therapy. Due to the fact that horses are prey animals, they are very intelligent, sensitive creatures and are believed to be very in tune with what a person is feeling. Forming bonds with them is often used in therapy to rehabilitate people to overcome issues including anger management, PTSD, and anxiety, just to name a few. Because horses instinctually react to nonverbal body language, they are a great hands-on tool in psychotherapy. Just being around them and not necessarily being in the saddle has proven to release oxytocin, a hormone that plays a role in social bonding. Unfortunately, riding horses and competing in horse shows is very expensive. The average cost for riding lessons is $45 per hour. For horse show competitions, there are many expenses to factor in, including registration fees, class fees, horse boarding and feed fees, training fees, and hauling fees. Other expenses to consider are travel fees, which include gas, lodging, and food. The question uniform is also an another additional expense. Competitive riders must have specific breeches, a riding jacket, show helmet, riding boots, and show shirts depending on which events they are competing in. For example, Lily does hunter jumper competitions and her uniform is different than that of a dressage or western competitor. The above mentioned costs are those of a horse competitor that, are, that does not actually own the horse that they school or train to compete with. Horse owners have the additional cost of horse tax, such as the bridle, bit, reins, saddle, and stirrups, and the equipment needed to haul the horses into to and from competitions. The purpose of the Lily at Lily the Rider brand is to positively promote the equestrian sport through learning videos that document Lily's progress and growth. In order to sustain her passion in participating in such an expensive sport, she will be launching a line of equestrian inspired merchandise. The at Lily the Rider merchandise will consist of casual t-shirts for everyday wear. Both child and adult sizes will be available so that every big can match their little. Lily will be very heavily involved in the design of every piece that is included in the at Lily the Writer t-shirt line. Her personal involvement in developing her product will assist in the authentic feel of her merchandise. It is important to the at Lily the Writer brand to be affordable to families with limited incomes. Price points will range from $9.99 to $19.99 for child sizes and $15.99 to $25.99 for adult sizes. All proceeds will go towards funding equestrian opportunities for Lily. Not only will her t-shirt line open the door to more equestrian opportunities for her to learn and compete, but will also increase her online audience on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube social media platforms. Promotion of the At Lily the Writer t-shirt line will include social media ads and At Lily the Writer merchandise specific hashtag campaign and promotional contest boosts. The target audience is kids from 5 to 7 and adults 20 to 35. The t-shirts will have a young and fun theme with bright colors and fun and, fun and inspirational quotes in eye-catching prints. The target audience will be based on young and tech-savvy people who are on social media two to three times a day or more. 
At Lily the Writer, we'll play off of situational triggers of those who are interested in fun and casual fashion who like to take pictures, i.e. selfies, that document the aspects of their life. With the knowledge that it is trendy for mothers and daughters to match, there is a niche market available to fit the product. Once the At Lily the Writer brand is in full production, one of the main promotional goals is to secure one to two social media influencers to promote the At Lily, Lily the Writer brand. Potential influencers such as Fallon Taylor at Fallon Taylor 2 on Instagram and kid influencers such as K Sisters Loves. They are super cute sisters who model. Definitely check out their Instagram accounts. Are influencers who have a large following from the target audience that at Lily the Writer would like to reach. The initial SWOT analysis of the at Lily the Writer brand will show that although current social media accounts may not have a mega following as of yet, as we post more engaging content, the amount of followers we've noticed is steadily growing, which is awesome. There's also a relatively saturated market for fashion overall. So the pros and cons, the pros about the At Lily the Writer brand is that the steady growth has already begun to occur with more active brand intelligence. Engagement on the At Lily the Writer Instagram page is steadily rising with an increase of engagements with other Instagram account users. Using social media marketing is to achieve two goals, obtain brand awareness and create business to consumer marketing. Lily's website, www.lilytherwriter.com, will be linked to each social media account where the consumers will have direct access to the at Lily the Writer's merchandise. On her website, consumers will be able to order her product from anywhere within the United States. A small discount will be given on, a, on second orders as a, retire, as a return by our loyalty incentive. So why support Lily the Writer? People should support Lily through the at Lily the Writer brand because she is a real life, authentic, and hardworking kid. She puts her all and has the grit to work through failure to reach her success. She is truly passionate about horses, writing, and sharing her passion with others. Supporting Lily through her merchandise line will not only help her self-finance her equestrian journey, but will also fuel her drive to be a successful.